my cancer journey began in 2016. I was actually getting ready to go on stage and I did the show. Uh, that was pretty difficult because I was like, something's clearly wrong. And I ended up in the ER. And uh, that's when I found out that there was a tumor on my right kidney. They took the kidney in 2016 and they were like, you're cured, that's it, done. I got married, I had a baby in 2020, in January, and in July I went and got scanned and my urologist was like, um, there's something in your lung, so I just want you to see a pulmonary specialist. I'm not worried, but you know, get that checked out. And so I went to the pulmonary specialist and he was like, I'm gonna give you some antibiotics. I don't think it's anything to worry about. I took the antibiotics and I go back and now there's two doctors. They were like, yeah, man, we think that this was a metastatic event. Cancer has come back and it's, you know, spreading. They started me on immunotherapy and they started me on targeted therapy and three months later it was gone. And at the exact same time that I was getting this good news, I began to experience some things. My feet started to hurt. It's really painful to walk. And then I started to itch. And the itching was like, it started to burn. And it was like, this is hell. I can't go outside. I can't play with my kid. I'm an actor. I got to be able to do whatever the job requires. I never thought that it would become this difficult. I didn't associate it with the treatment. I was supposed to be on immunotherapy and the targeted therapy for at least two years. I stopped immunotherapy three months into starting it. And that decision is very difficult to make because you feel like you're in a life-threatening situation. But my quality of life had plummeted really, really quickly. I didn't think that I could continue living the way that I was living. I was working at the time at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York and I walked in the room and I see this very young man with the biggest smile. He told me about how he was developing very painful blisters as well as some changes he was experiencing in his skin that did not allow him to really sweat or for his skin to stay moisturized which was significantly affecting him. As a result of not being able to sweat for almost a year and a half, my skin took a beating and I was just super dry. All these spots on my body everywhere from just not being able to purge. I look at myself in the mirror and I'm just reminded daily of like this trauma that, that I've been through. Many cancer patients will experience some type of skin, hair, or nail problem that will develop during or after the course of their treatment. These side effects are often under-recognized, but they are important because they can impact a patient's ability to receive life-prolonging or life-saving treatments. Once a cancer patient develops a condition such as a rash in the face or loses their hair, they also lose a sense of who they are. About five years ago, I was approached by uh, La roche Posay to uh, learn more about what they were doing in the space of cancer care for patients with dermatologic conditions. So someone calls me and they say, there is a thermal center in La roche Posay, France, and your doctor has recommended that you would be a good candidate to go. It can help your skin. So yeah, I got on a plane. We came here for three weeks and it did exactly what it purports to do. I participated in about three to four different therapies six days a week and immediately I could start to feel a difference. Cancer is personal for all of us. Our friends and family have been affected by it. Given all the ways that cancer can affect your life, including your physical appearance and the side effects of cancer treatment, it's so important that people get early advice and understanding about what some of those side effects could be. 
But also, and the reason why it's so important that we work with La Roche-Posay is to give people uh, advice and guidance on how they can prevent or mitigate or manage some of those symptoms. I decided to partner with La Roche-Posay to educate dermatologists and healthcare providers as to the best way to manage patients' skin side effects during treatment, developing guidelines as to how to best manage these side effects, and we have done those across different countries. We also encourage education for patients because in many instances, the patients are the first to notice that a side effect has appeared, and it is very important for patients to report that side effect to their doctor any side effects or any conditions that may appear. In the majority of cases during treatment can be managed through the use of certain skincare products, medicines, or other types of treatment that would reduce the severity so that people could continue to maintain their quality of life and continue to receive their treatment. Oh, I love this picture. I went home with a lot more confidence that I came here with. I went home with a lot healthier skin. Wow. Oh, here's, this is a picture of me sweating the first time. I could literally devote all of my time to helping my body promote healing. I have fond memories of France for, for lots of reasons, but I will always think of La Roche and France as uh, a place where I got my life back.